Okay, so here's Roxy, here's Lilo, who's obviously tiny. It's the closest thing we have to a cat. <laughs> And we're just putting structure in the dog's life. So when the question comes up, do dogs get along? You know, we, we kind of make them get along. It's like kids, you know, they might not have to like each other, but they certainly can't kill each other, right? So like kids play, there's bullies in school, there's submissive kids, there's, uh, there's um, what's the opposite of submissive kids? The shy, bullies. So look, thanks a lot. <laughs> Then we stop. stop. Roxy, stop. Good girl, babe. Rock. Good girl, Rock. So we set boundaries. Whether this was a cat, a, a tarantula, a bird, uh, what do we do? Chickens? It doesn't matter. The dog cannot show too much interest. We can't let Roxy stick his head up uh, Lilo's ass. It's not going to fit. So we have to correct the dog. A little. Just a little. You see, I'm relaxed. The dog's inquisitive, but we have to refocus him. He can't harass little Lilo. Okay, babe. And I always have, you know, structure, structure, structure. Good, Rocks. So we want him to kind of ignore each other, at least, and learn how to play well with others. That not that what life is all about, Camille? Oh, yeah. Learning how to play well with others despite your feelings towards them. <laughs> Which you might not, you might not, and there is a lot of life lessons here. You might not like everybody you see in the world, or you might not understand them, but you can learn to deal with them. So Roxy may not understand this little creature. Good, good, Roxy. But you see, where's that little black dog? That really, did you want to get that on tape? I we'll sent that a little video. Cut, cut from it. Lilo and the little one might not get along. <laughs> so anyway, so here's our pack. And whether they, they, these dogs like each other or not, they, they may not understand each other. Stop. So just by introducing a third dog into the pack, everything changed slightly. Right now you change. Anytime you introduce, if you have a guest come over for dinner, you're having a dinner party and a new guest comes, it kind of changes the dynamic of the party, right Camille, for a while? Mm -hmm. And then everybody, we have structure. Now he's smelling a little too much, this little one, I want to stop him. Roxy, good. So I should be at Rock, stop. I should be able to say the dog's name and at least get its attention. It can't be a free Good, Rox. Good. Good. Good, Rox. Good, Rox. So here we have it. I don't think if we had put cats in this room, they wouldn't be here. They'd be probably on top of my head, but <laughs> here we are. Two little doggies. Like I said, Lilo and the little one are probably <laughs> But Roxy is fine. And this is in what, two or three minutes, five minutes at the most? We want to slow them down. Rox. Roxy, good girl, Rox. All right, so that's a good video. It doesn't really get better than this. Anything, they're animals, they're, this isn't an exact science.